Hallo, ik ben Ryan. Welkom terug bij Minecraft Story Mode. Hey, wow, well, Jesse. Way to catch up, dude. Very nice. You just can't take a hit, can you? Get huh? dunked on, slacker. Whoa! No! Oh, we're gonna get it. Oh, come on! En daar gaan we. Dude, that was so Tim. Righteous. How are we gonna get out of here? Oh, the water, little dude. We can ride that wave right back up to the top. Follow me. En we gaan naar boven. Oké. Okay. Wow. Man, intense enough for you? Thanks for saving me. Yeah, I don't mention it. This race is almost over and we will soon have a winner. And I think I know who it might be. I am the winner of the lava race, the gladiator formerly known as Emily. I trust you made good on our deal. I did. If that's true, then why hasn't Jesse responded yet? Jesse. And there appears to be a confrontation on the field. Bet you didn't think you'd see me here, did you? This just went from bad to worse. So you sacrificed winning the race to save someone else. Good to know. And you. You were supposed to eliminate Jesse. Our deal's off. Deal? No! Please! <sighs> you probably think I'm scum or whatever, but you know what? I don't even care. You have your deal, Jesse. If you win, you and your friends will just leave us anyway. My shot at going home just went up in smoke. So feel free to judge all you want. Hard to hurt me any more than Hadrian did just now. You really trusted Hadrian? That guy's like a creeper in a purple power suit. Hey, you try being stuck here as long as I have. Then you can talk. I'm out of here. That respawning was the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Ah! Ivor, what are you wearing? <gasps> It's what I've been wearing under my adventuring clothes. It breathes <laughs> wonderfully. Uh huh. Well, look who it is. You. Hadrian wants you. Hadrian? Why does he want to see me? You made him real mad. Come on, I don't have all day. Before I go anywhere, I want more information. And I wanted to kill you, but they wouldn't let me. I guess that means we don't always get what we want. Come on. No. Just Jesse. Oh. Hadrian doesn't allow dirty respawns in the palace. Just try and be safe, Jesse. I don't trust them. Hmm. Keep up! Come on! Come here, it'll be quick. Jesse, you gonna do what I say or not? Hey, Jesse. Yeah, over here. Jesse, I'm warning you. I think you're gonna wait for me, lackey. I mean, what are you gonna do, kill me? Oh, wait, I forgot you can't. Hey, what's up? Hi, Jesse, I'm Sebastian. Um, I know you're about to see the old builders, and I just wanted to say, please, just don't make them mad. Whatever they want you to do, just do it. It is way worse for us when they're mad. We're just happy you're here. I know, you're so busy. Of course, Sebastian. I'm always happy to help out. Then please keep helping us. It's so much nicer around here when they aren't mad. We sometimes get cake. I don't want to keep you, but some of the miners and I, well, we made you something. I know it's not much, but it's all we have. Wow, thank you. You didn't have to do this. Jesse, come on! Now we're gonna be late and I'm gonna get in trouble. 
just the most not cool. Oh, we're not that late. I'm sure you'll be fine. Yeah, you are just super inconsiderate. You know that? Wow, so this is how the old builders live. Totally epic, right? Sometimes I just like to stand here and... <sighs> this is incredible. Such amazing use of scale and angles. Right? Knew you'd be impressed. I get to hang out here whenever I want. But why am I standing around? I, I gotta go find Hadrian. Thanks to you, we're late. Oh, and don't touch anything! Slab said don't touch anything. He never said don't look at everything. <laughs> Wie zegt dat we nergens aan mogen? We doen het gewoon, we zitten hier niet voor ons lol. Hier, een bureau. Ik heb nooit een court's desk before. En daar zijn er van een mooi uitzicht blijkbaar. Even kijken. Nou, well, that's a view. Hey, there's Petra and Lucas. Gaan we het gas aan tikken en kom mij schelen. Psst, hey Bat. Hey Batsy. Oeps. Oh, hij is weg. Oké, okay. um, ik wil even, even kijken hoe ga ik dat nou doen. Hier is een muur. Hé, hey, kijk eens aan. Die Tim, hè? dat is misschien maar gewoon een verhaaltje wat bedacht is om iedereen een beetje blij te houden. Dat zal ik me net te bedenken. Maar goed, ik kan er natuurlijk naast zitten. Dat is toch wel... Oh, we kunnen het ook gebruiken. Oké, okay, laten we dat nog even niet doen. Welkom Jesse. Fantastisch om je hier te hebben. Just fantastic. Thanks for accepting my invitation. Well, it seems appropriate that you'd gravitate toward Tim's armor. What with everyone calling you the new Tim down there. Yes, I've heard the rumors that they're calling you that, and I can definitely see why. People love an underdog story. Give it to me straight. Why did you invite me up here, Hadrian? Why, so we could continue to discuss the terms of our deal? More terms? <laughs> you can look closer. Go ahead. I assume by now you've heard all about Tim. Repeatedly. Everyone loves him. And why shouldn't they? After all, he's Tim. Yeah, it seems like he really gives them hope. Even better than that. They really believe in him. Tim is an inspiration to them, even when he's not here. One could say he's an inspiration because he's not here. What do you mean? It's so much easier for a legend to stay nice and shiny when it's a fond memory. Easier to control it. I've been watching your legend grow, but I worry that with you still in the picture, it could get... messy. I've been starting to think it would be best if you made a quiet exit. You don't belong here. These games aren't for you. Well, that doesn't sound like the deal we made. You trying to change our terms? Think of this as a shiny, new deal. See, there's something you should know about the games. No one ever wins unless we want them to. Not even Tim. Let that sink in for a moment, eh? I'm not buying it, Hadrian. Is Tim even real? I knew you were a smart one, bucko. <laughs> of course he's not real. See? Tim gives them hope. He keeps them playing the games, but no one wins, ever. Which is why I think it'd be in your best interest to play along. But don't you miss your friends? Your treehouse? Wait, my treehouse? The Atlas can see where people are from, you know. So I had Mevia go check it out. Turns out you're pretty famous. I was impressed. Had to bring back some things you might be interested in. <laughs> Uh, Axel! Olivia! Hey, Jesse! Jesse! Oh my gosh, I can't believe you're here! Yeah, this really scary lady showed up and knocked us out. Now we're in these smelly boxes. What's going on here? 
And that guy's voice is the worst. I can even hear it through the obsidian. We've been trying to find you guys this whole time. It's been nuts. You mean Petra and Lucas are still with you? That's such a relief. Yeah, Ivor too. Oh, yay. Wait until I tell the others you're here. I've missed you guys so much. Wow, this is just, wow. Such a tapestry of human trauma and emotion. And we haven't even gotten to the best part. I saved that for last. What? Oh, yes. Your best friend. Reuben. Sup? <sighs> I've heard all about him. Your best friend. Your partner in crime. Hadrian, for an old builder, you are not that bright, you know that? What? I told you, bro. Look, my name is Reuben, but the Reuben you're thinking of, he was like a little piggy. Though, seriously, dude, big fat. Nothing <sighs> happened. So you used the Atlas to kidnap my friends and that other guy. Why? Yeah, incentive, Jesse, incentive. See, even if you win, and that's a mighty big if, they will be staying to work in the mines forever. Or until they get a shot at competing, which is still basically forever. No! Okay, so what's your deal? If you lose the next match and go work in my mines, then I'll let your friends go. All of them. You'll just have to stay behind in their place. I hear it's terrible in those minds. But aren't your friends worth it? You're messing with the wrong guy. And his friends. Yeah, they're awesome! Just being supportive? I'm not messing with anyone. I'm just trying to maintain my games here. Okay, I had hoped that watching your sad reunion would be entertaining, but I'm done now. What do you say, sport? Your freedom for theirs, huh? Do you think you're worth more than all of them? No way, Hadrian. I don't make deals with cheaters. Fine. Play it your way. Which is to say, I will crush you. And you won't win anyway. Slab! Get this garbage out of my office. Sure thing, boss. Come on, idiot. Jesse, you're okay! What happened up there? Have you seen what Ivor is wearing? I said, <laughs> shut up! Hadrian has Axel and Olivia. What? what? He used the Atlas to snatch them from our world. No. Are they okay? Other than Hadrian having them trapped in obsidian prisons. But he offered me a deal. He said he'll send you all home if I lose and go to the mines in your place. <gasps> I didn't take the deal. Oh. I guess that was probably the right move. Probably? <laughs> what, you thought that deal sounded good? I don't know. It's a complex situation. I don't trust Hadrian. No way was I going to take any shady deal from him. You're right. You're probably right. <sighs> Jesse was smart. Hadrian never would have kept that deal. Even if you did volunteer to throw the game, he'd just send you all to the mines anyway. Probably. While claiming that was the original deal. So, who's supposed to help us then? Hadrian and Mevia are both clearly the worst. But what about the third guy? Otto? How could he help? He's always stayed out of the more lever-pulling sides of the games. He seems like a big fan of the rules. Maybe we can use that to our advantage. Huh. He loves rules, that's for sure. Always plays by them. If you won, I know he would definitely make sure you got that atlas. That was the original deal. And he's an honorable man. Harper, Hadrian still has my friends trapped in that obsidian prison. I can win the Atlas, but I'm going to need you to get them out. I can handle it. Good. There's three of them. They're in Hadrian's office. Wait, wait, wait. You really think you can free everyone in this place and win the games? Yeah. Good luck with that last part. Do you really think you can just beat all the other teams by yourself? That is a pretty tall order. Even for you, Jesse. Oh, it's impossible is what it is. The old builders expect us all to fight each other. I don't intend to give them the satisfaction. <laughs> You're what? 
gonna convince everyone to work together? Oh, yeah. Whoa. Looks like we've got a little bit of an audience here. I think that's your cue to do your thing. The old builders make you all compete in the games. Event after event after event. They build up hope, but they're still controlling everything. They'll never really let anyone win unless we work together. Hadrian keeps twisting and changing the rules. I say it's our time to change the rules on them. What's the point? Hadrian will still have all the power. There's no way he's gonna let us just take that from him. Hadrian's not fully in control. Winning is possible, Em. Don't you want to win? I do, more than anything. But nobody beats Hadrian at his own games. Nobody. Hey, Tim did! That's the only thing keeping me going in here. Oh yeah, cause if it weren't for Tim, I probably would have given up a long time ago. Nou, laten we een hoop maar niet wegnemen. En ik kan twee dingen gebeuren. Oh, als we zeggen Tim is niet echt, dan worden ze misschien allemaal boos en dan gaan ze meewerken. Ik kan ook zeggen van ja, hij heeft het wel gedaan en dan zien ze Tim als voorbeeld en dan gaan ze meewerken. In... Kijk, in dit geval werkt ze sowieso mee. Maar ik hou er niet van om mensen iets te laten geloven wat niet echt is. Dus we moeten maar hiervoor gaan. Oeh. Ik vind het wel spannend dit. We gaan dit doen. Actually, Tim's not real. No way. Of course Tim's real. Look at the banners. Are you sure? Yeah, Hadrian told me. I knew it. All of that stuff about him seems so implausible. So wait, Tim's made up. They just invented him. What a highly elaborate fabrication. Of course he is. It's all a part of how the old builders keep their control over everyone. That's awful. Seriously. But we can beat them. The old builders already controlled everything else. Of course they control the games. Why should I even try anymore? Sitting in their stupid tower, pulling all the levers. I thought you were one of the toughest people in here, Em. What's the matter? Are you scared? Gasp! Is that what it is? <laughs> Are you scared? What? No! I just don't want to keep getting hit by stupid gladiators with enchanted swords if I can't win anyway. Yeah, I mean, like your plan to take down the old builders sounds cool and all, but um, those gladiators are like super tough. <laughs> like max level scariness, okay? Boo! Oh, no, I mean totally OP. Yeah, but so are we, you guys. Sure, their fists are huge and their weapons are really scary, but we've all got fists and stuff too. <sighs> Where's Jesse going with this? If we combine all of our fists and stuff, we're gonna be like 10 times as tough as the gladiators. Oh, I get it now. Okay, now just bring it home, Jesse. You can do it! Doing awesome. You might not believe in yourselves, but I believe in you, and I believe that we will be free. Yeah! Not real? I can't believe it! Look, it was a nice speech. But strength doesn't come from speeches. Actions speak louder than words. Can't expect you to just talk your way through this, Jesse. My strength comes from my friends. We're always there for each other. It's true. Jesse never even gave up on me. And I used to be a bad guy. Maybe. Man, some crowd. Think they got through to him? Wait, so who are we fighting then? <sighs> Reaction definitely seemed mixed. Yeah, no kidding. A lot of diehard Tim fans. It had to, or else we're in big trouble. Yeah, that last game is all or nothing. Well, I guess we'll find out for sure in the morning. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege, nay, my honor, to be here today, kicking off another wonderful day of the game. That's right, Adrian, and not just any day, but the final day of 
the game. Are our competitors ready for the final challenge? The it's walls. The walls. So, scared? Because it's okay if you are. No one will judge you for it. Can I be honest with you? I am a little scared. I'm worried. That <laughs> <laughs> scared. <laughs> oh, I guess that's what I get for being honest. Maybe. For those unfamiliar with the walls, you want to walk us through how it's played? Sure thing, Hadrian. Teams start out separated in their own sections, divided by the high inner walls. Each team has a short amount of time to gather materials, build defenses, and craft in their section before the walls come yeah. down. Wait, I only see dirt and gravel in my section. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that going to be a problem? The sections are drawn at random. Whatever, I'll make it work. I'm that awesome. Oh, can't wait. Once the walls are down, it's every team for themselves. But is surviving the walls the end, Maria? No, it is not, Hadrian. Whichever team survives the free-for-all needs to step onto the winner's platform in the center of the arena. Winner takes all! But let's not get ahead of ourselves, because that's only if the would-be winners can defeat... Oh. Gladiators! <laughs> that's right! So all competitors better get to gathering materials because that clock is ticking! Dark. Well, hopefully it's not all dirt and gravel. Ah, oh, choices are funny. Hey! <laughs> Seems like they're happy you didn't get anything. <laughs> I think they're making fun of you. But just my, you know, professional opinion. There's a gladiator. Who's heard this a lot? <laughs> oh, you think? Well, yeah, I do actually. Rhetorical question. Goed, hier pak ik het volgende keer weer op. Ik wil je bedanken voor het kijken en tot de volgende keer. Bye bye.